All right, welcome back to the second part of the worksheet number 16. We're going to jump back into number 8. So last time we talked about how to calculate different uh, areas under the normal distribution. Here we're going to kind of look at slightly different question here. For number 8, how to calculate PK, which is the kth percentile. So as we mentioned before, earlier section, kth percentile means a place where k percent of the population is less than you so I want this to be k percent and what they're asking is what should the score be so that it gives you k percent so this is a different question than what we answered before where we're given a score we will try to find the corresponding probability or the area this question the area is given so here i'm going to write the the area or the percent is given and here we're trying to find try to find the score that gives you that percentage right that's what the k percentile means it means k percent of the population is lower than you which is to the left which goes on forever so here we're gonna find do the similar function key but not exactly the same as what we used so we'll use this function called int norm function key and there's a separate video also separate calculator video for this as well but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use second so we'll go bars which is the distribution right then we'll do inv norm which is the inverse norm of the distribution it asks for area it asks for mu sigma and tail all right so in this case we'll put k converted to decimal right converted to converted to decimal so for example if it's 70 percent then I'm gonna convert it into 0 0.70 if it's like 15 percent then it'll be 0 0.15 and so on and so forth that's what k is gonna be mu is the mean sigma is the standard deviation and tail in this case I noticed that tail is pointing to the left so here is gonna be the left if tail goes to area is covering to the right then it'll be right if area is in the middle then it'll be center so I have to pick one from here depends on the tail is for the percentile by the definition percentile is going to be always to the left but some other questions if they want like middle 50% or middle 80% then I'll choose center if it's to the right 20% to the right or 40% to the right then I'll pick the right option so depends on what the question is asking I'll pick the correct option for that and from the calculator function key it will give you the score that gives you that many percent so having said that let's look at number number nine uh, section E P 75 percent so they want this 75 percentile P score so if I have to kind of guess again like this is 50% so 75% somewhere here maybe so I don't know exactly what is it gonna be is it gonna be 1 is it gonna be like 0 0.7 is it gonna be 1.2 I don't know where so this is my guess somewhere near 1 that's my guess so how do I precisely calculate that so again I notice my area is going to the left forever so I'll do in norm then for area I'm gonna put 0 0.75 because 75% converted to decimal will be 0 0.75 this is area mu here this is we're talking about z-score so mu is going to be 0 standard deviation is 1 and I'll select left and when you calculate this out as a result you get 0 0.674 okay so that means this number here should have been 0 0.74 not 1 so because I wasn't sure if it's gonna be 1 or less than 1 
but it's actually 0 0.674. So I know precisely where my point needs to be. I need to change my answer a little bit here. So this will be 75% of the data set. All right, I'm gonna have you finish the rest of number nine and then I'm gonna meet you back at number 10. All right, the last thing we're gonna talk about is empirical rule. Here, kind of gives you guideline on how the distribution is distributed. So let's look at the first statement. About 68% of x values lie within blank standard deviation of the mean. So I can think of this as 68% in the middle. In the middle to make more precise. So, okay, they're giving me the percent. They want to find the z-score. So if I were to calculate, try to calculate this by using calculator, I use int norm function key. I'll use 0 0.68 as the area. Then again, it says standard deviation of the mean. This is z-score, so that'll be 0 for the mean, and then 1 for the standard deviation. And I'll pick here center option, because here we're talking about 68% in the middle. So, so when you put this into calculator, you get two numbers. You notice you you get basically two same number, but one is going to be negative, one is going to be positive. So you get negative 0.994, and you get positive 0.994. When you use the middle function or center option, you're going to always get two numbers because it's the middle, so there are two boundaries. So basically, negative one and positive one, because 0.994, we can just round to one. So negative one to positive one, basically what they're saying in this area, 68%. So you have like an idea of how things are distributed. If I were to do for the 95% in the middle, basically I'll do for the 95% like over here, int norm, kind of similar stuff. 0 0.95, 0, 1, and the center. Oh, you notice you get negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. So you can kind of round to 2. So we can say 2 standard deviation. All right, that's the, all the new stuff that we're going to cover in the second part. Now you can pause and finish the rest of the worksheet.